Welcome callers. Today is March the 1st, 2021. You are watching the HUFIN News, also known as HFN YouTube channel. We're going to give you all the update today for XRP. If this is your first time watching our video, make sure before you go, you hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe to the channel. We all appreciate the market calls that we are doing on this channel. If you want to see our stock price predictions, as well as you want to learn more about how to call the markets right alongside with us, you can follow us there as well. The link for that channel is in the description of the video. Now, if you all want to see all of our other plays, simply follow our website, Hufin News. I'm sorry, Hufinancial.com. The link is in the description of this video as well. You guys have access to all of the other plays that we are also noticing within the cryptocurrency space as well as in the stock market. Now, we're looking at XRP, and it's been about three days since our last video. And as you can tell, we actually kept our original forecast into the market for XRP back here on the 23rd of February. So we simply did an update on the 26th of February for XRP, and we kept our analysis the same. We didn't see anything different, different at that particular time that would make us want to alter or adjust our prediction, as you all can tell. The market on yesterday, the 28th of February, actually came down to our TP price of 40 cents. You can see that we're finally getting some price movement up in XRP, which is up there around 4%. But we're going to look at the price chart on a different time frame to see if there is still weakness in the market for this currency. And we'll do that by looking at XRP on the weekly time frame. And here it is. You guys can see that last week it was monumental. The weakness did come into the market in XRP. There's no doubt about it, but you know what? There's been weakness into the market in XRP ever since the first week of February. The market's been weak. And you guys can also tell, let me show you this, that we have this massive area of trading that the market in XRP has simply been bouncing between. Massive area. I mean, the spread from 40 cents all the way up there to 65 cents is monumental in terms of where the price has already been. So we need to enlarge our expectation as to where price can literally go in the long term. OK, now let's take this back over to the monthly time frame since we are looking at this on a monthly perspective and the monthly time frame in XRP, in fact, does look weak. You know, I don't expect from a longer term perspective that this market in XRP is going to be breaking above 65 cents. It is not being revealed by the trap on the price chart. So we may have a little while longer before we actually see the reclamation of the market in XRP going higher. OK, so let's go ahead and do this with our prediction that we did on the 26th of February. We're going to go ahead and take that off. OK, we said TP was going to be around 40 cents. So congratulations on those who was able to call that 8.89 percent into the market for XRP was an excellent thing to see because we saw that what 23rd of February. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now we need to make sure that we are always in the forefront. We need to call the market, expect price to go a certain direction so we can ensure that we are in position. This is how you grab the money from the trap. This is how you're able to win in the market. So let's do this. Now we've seen it already. We've been here before in the market for XRP. 40 cents has been established previously back here during the month of February in the early parts of February we've already seen how the trap came and supported the market in XRP and take a look at the result at that particular time for XRP the market bounced from 40 cents and went all the way up there towards 65 so literally the market in XRP did this it went higher came down right there towards 50 cents shot back up to 65 and now we're testing 40 cents once again. That is the movement. So now what do you expect to occur? You might even see some people use some technical jargon called double top, right? First time, this is the second time that the market came in XRP. You would expect the market to go lower in price. And it has done that. So we're not confused. We expect that and we see that, right? Now let's take a look at the market in XRP on a three day time frame. And again, I don't see a lot. I really don't see a lot going on to the market in XRP. I will tell you that the market definitely is trying to prop up the price around 40 cents. Okay. 
I do like the fact that the volume is dwindling, that it's getting lighter in terms of everyone's being comfortable with price trading above 40 cents. That's a positive thing to see. Five day time frame, the market is here, it's still weak. So we can still see the market bounce from 40 cents back up to 45 or even 50 cents, right? But that doesn't mean on the long term that the market is through a lower price. So this video is all about your time preference. If you're here to play this on the daily time frame, sure, you can see the market bounce to 45, 50 cents. You can. But if you're playing this in the long term, i.e. looking at this on a weekly time frame, even on the monthly, the market is weak right here at this particular price level. And a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market next RP come up here to this particular area, which is still around 50 cents. Okay. Because when I extend this over here to the left, we hit this area back here for the month of June 2019 already. So 50 cent is restriction into the market in XRP. Now let me look at this on an hourly time frame real quick. I do like the market so far. I don't see a lot of weakness really being placated like we've seen previously on the 22nd of February. So we're actually seeing some prospect of movement higher in price for XRP for the daily time frame. Okay. You will have to literally depend it on your time preference. If you're here for the long term, then this is not applicable to you in the prediction that we are going to generate on today's video. Okay. But here we are. We're looking at this on varying time frames and the strength is here. I don't see a lot of volatility. I don't see increased volatility or, you know, volatile price movements really occurring into the market in XRP over the next two or three days. So what we're going to do on this particular video, we're going to play the strength. Now we have some ideas to where the market will find more sellers and the first area is right there around 45 cents. The next one, it's right there around 48. Okay. And literally 50 cents is restriction. And I pull that back out from the monthly time frame in XRP that that can really hold back price from going higher. Okay. So what we're going to do today is give us a call of expecting the market in XRP to go higher price. We said that our initial TP price would be 45 cents up there towards 48. Okay. So up here towards 48 cents, that will give us about what? Uh, 10, almost 11% profitability into the market in XRP. Market definitely needs to hold this 40 cent area as we see a trade. And we're going to extend it out just a tad and now we're in position so this is a prediction for smaller time frames if you're looking for a weekly to a monthly price prediction all i can tell you is that the market still looks weak from that time frame but we can see the strength coming in on the daily to the hourly time frame so depending on when you're trying to get into the market and out the market in xrp that is what we're seeing so i mean what are you all seeing we're callers. This is our purpose is to ensure that we call the market and make sure that we are in position to capitalize on the price. So tell everyone in our community of callers, where do you expect the price to go? And not only that, where would you take your profit? At what price would you exit out XRP in the next three days, whatever price be? So join us, call the markets right alongside with us for XRP. And again, let's not make it confusing. There's enough individuals already out here confusing everyone else with their price charts. Let's keep it clean. So let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.